what is going on, people. I come to you on this rainy day. Not that you know it's raining, but it is raining in Jersey. I'm here for another review for you guys. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying my reviews and hopefully I'm getting better for you guys. But this one, if you couldn't tell by the title, is about a movie called Exeter. And that's put out by Viva Pictures, who actually put out other movies like uh, The Legend of Wasco, uh, you know, uh, Country Cottage, which I do have that you all should check out as well, but among many others and actually different genres as well. But let me get into it. Exeter, uh, it's directed by uh, Marcus Nispel. Uh, it's written by Kristen Mc uh, McAlian, again, horrible with names, uh, and Marcus Nispel. It stars uh, Stephen Lang, uh, Kevin Chapman, Kelly Blatz, Brittany Curran, uh, Brett Deer, Gage Go Lightly, uh, Nick Nicotera, among many others. So pretty much what this movie is about is uh, there's a place called Exeter, which is almost like a, a I want to say boarding school kind of deal where, you know, troubled teens go to and such. And, you know, it was prevalent for a while until they found out that this place was doing a little something extra rather than, you know, trying to rehabilitate these kids. So pretty much this place closes. Fast forward years and years uh, and pretty much what's happening is this... Uh, I don't want to say real. I guess it is religious. They they mention Christianity and stuff. So pretty much it's this. I guess this youth group kind of deal. Uh, they come to this place, Exeter, to come and fix it up. Pretty much to uh, you know, I don't know to get it running again or whatever. But pretty much they're there trying to clean this place up. And uh, later on during that night, um, after they're done trying to clean this place up. A party ensues so pretty much it's these kids from this uh you know uh what do you want to call it these kids from this youth group and other kids partying the night away um until later on when the you know party dies down and it's just this random group of kids well not random but they came together they're they're more it's just them in this abandoned place and pretty much what they're doing is partying a little bit more but then they decide to i guess they see this video on YouTube or whatever they're using at that point of, you know, one of those seances kind of deal, you know, light as a feather, stiff as a board kind of deal. So they end up doing that. And the person who ends up getting to do this is this younger kid. And uh, as they do this, something happens, something goes, you know, crazy, I guess you want to call it. And the kid runs off and you don't see him for a while. Then they go look for him. And little do they know that Whatever happened to him, he ends up getting possessed by this, I guess you want to call it, demon. And it's pretty much them trying to stay alive in this craziness, trying to save this kid, and all hell breaks loose. I don't want to talk too much more. Uh, let me just say that the, the way it's shot is really good. Um, the death scenes in this are pretty intense. There's very, you know, it's very graphic at points. Um, you know, what they do, like the seance and stuff is pretty cool. Um, you know, I enjoyed it a whole lot. The thing that got me really, you know, interested in it was definitely the trailer. I saw it, uh, on YouTube, uh, definitely caught my eye, the trailer for it. So, um, you know, it's definitely one of those things where if you're into exorcisms, if you're into possession, if you're into all this kind of stuff, it's definitely, it's it fits all spectrums. If you're just in for certain gore aspects, you're definitely going to catch it with this. Uh, you know, again, if you're into the, you know, possession style kind of deal, uh, you're definitely going to get what you want in this movie as well. Um, pretty sure you can find it on Amazon. You can find it... Um, Probably on eBay and such. I believe it's only on DVD for right now. <clears throat> but it is, you know, I from the trailer did, didn't disappoint me because that's what got me interested. And then watching the movie definitely, you know, didn't disappoint at all. Because sometimes you see trailers and they're kind of, you know, kind of lying to you. Or just put the best parts in it, I guess you want to call it. Well, this, um, it hit on every aspect. I enjoyed it a whole lot. Uh, very creepy at parts too, you know, th there's certain jump scenes and such. So it definitely caught me off guard of, you know, I 
looked at it. I thought it was going to be good. And then it kind of just, uh, I don't want to say blew my expectations out of the way, but it definitely lived up to my expectations and definitely was a good movie. So if you want to definitely go to, um, probably you can find it on, you know, uh, Amazon, uh, or you can go to, uh, Viva, uh, Viva pictures and find it there as well. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I, I guess I'll leave the link. I'll, I'll, I'll find it myself. Leave the link to wherever um, on the bottom of this so you can just go through and uh, find it yourself if you would like to. So, again, hopefully you're enjoying these, uh, you know, these things that I'm doing. What are reviews? Almost forgot the word there. But hopefully you're enjoying my reviews. If you want to see anything else reviewed, let me know. If there's a certain movie, you know, you might not want to check out, I'll check it out for you. I'll watch it and then let you know. So definitely continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends if, you know, they might be into stuff like this. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time.